is there a chance that Stephen A. Smith is starting to see the light? On his most recent podcast, he had Patrick Bed David. I will link the full episode down below. Here's a short clip of Patrick Bed David trying to convert him to the side of truth. Let's get it. Are you of the mindset, even though I know that you want Trump to win, are you of the mindset that in Biden's case, he should step out of the race or he should finish the deal? Do you trust in his way to communicate any message with anybody? Do you trust him? Because this is this is how it works in the world of business, okay? Let's just say, Stephen A., you're running a uh, $3.5 trillion your company. Let's call this company USA, okay? okay? Let's say uh, I, on behalf of you, I'm going to go negotiate with another guy named Xi or another guy named Vlad. Let's just call him Vlad. Or let's let's call another guy named Zelensky, okay? Okay. Or or another guy named Raisi or whoever Khamenei that's running Iran, uh, the late Raisi. Would you trust Biden on behalf of you to go negotiate with any one of those guys? I don't think you'd say yes to that. I right? wouldn't. I wouldn't. Exactly. So so we are the owners of this country. Mm -hmm. We're the voters, mm -hmm. right? We are voting for somebody on behalf of us to go negotiate. In a favorable term for us, it's very simple. You have to negotiate favorable terms on the $200 billion we gave to Zelensky. You have to negotiate in favorable terms on to put the fear in uh, uh, you know, Putin to not do what he's doing to you know, uh, Ukraine. You have to put the fear in G. So to me, it starts that simple. It's not even about me and Trump are not friends. I've never broke bread with them to have like a conversation. You probably had more interactions with them one-on-one -on -one than I've had with mm -hmm. them. I've met him at a UFC fight. Dana made the introduction. Mm -hmm. I've been to Mar-a-Lago a couple times. I've met his son. I've met him. I've met Don a couple times. I've never seen him since 2014. That's the that's financial the last, advice that's he the gave last time. Um, that's the last time we saw each right. other when we were at a game at the Knicks game and he introduced me to Bill O'Reilly at that particular moment in time and I was the person he called in 2015 when he 14 rather when he was trying to purchase the Buffalo Bills and he said to me on the phone he said Stephen A I want to get the I want to get the bill the bills he said but I got a feeling these folks are going to get in my way and his exact words to me and I've said this publicly so I'll echo it to you he said if them fuckers get in my way I'm going to get them back I'm going to run for president. That's exactly what he said. He said and this to you. He in, said this in to me year? in 2014. Wow. He well, said it to me in 2014. He's trying to get the bills. The price for it was 1.4 yeah, billion. Yeah. You know, he didn't. Able, he wasn't able to get it. And there you have it. Yeah. So, so, so think about. By the way, I spoke to him and I said I'd love to see you on Stephen A. It's <laughs> one of the first things I told him. I said I'd love to see see you on Stephen A. I think that would be a entertaining interview if you interview Trump. I wouldn't run from it. I'd gladly interview. I him. know you would, and yeah. I think it'd be very entertaining for everybody to watch. Yeah. And if they're watching it right now, they ought to consider it. Especially if they did Logan Paul, it'd be a very different kind of an audience to speak to because a big part of the audience listens to you. So for me. You know, I just did three interviews today. Today's, you know, whatever the day is. Day after right. Fourth of July, we're sitting here. You're working a day after Fourth of July. Most of America right now is like, now it's my four day weekend, all this stuff, right? We're grinding, we're working. I asked one of the guys, I said, Hey, you're interviewing today. He says, Yes. So you sure you want to work for a company that's working on fifth of July, day after fourth of July? Mm -hmm. He says, I asked the question myself, right? Do you think President Biden is working on the 5th of July. Do you think he's working six days a week the way Trump would do? Do you think he would pick up the calls? Do you think he would pick up the calls more than a Newsom? Do you think he would pick up the calls more than a, any of the other candidates? So the fact that they have him over a Trump as a candidate, I, I trust Trump in the locker room to sit down and talk to these guys with G. Did you hear the story that when Byron Donalds was on uh, State Steel, the other fellow that was with him that said, hey, what's the best Trump story that you have? He said, he goes one time, assistant talks to the Taliban, and he says, hey, I want you to know something. We're about to exit Afghanistan when I get reelected. When we do, I swear to God, if you do anything to any of my soldiers, even a hair, if anything happens to them, I'm going to kill you. I'm telling you this respectfully. I don't want to have problems with you. Trump gets up, takes out a sheet of paper out of his pocket, hands it to the man with a picture of his house and his family, and walks out. Wow. See, I want... Byron Donald told that story. Byron Representative Donald's Byron... associate next right. to him on Sage Steele's, right. I'll give you the link afterwards, sure. told the story. And guess what? Do you believe that kind of a story? I do. So do I, I do believe he would say something like that. I think we need strength today. We don't have it. Let's... That was a funny story that Stephen A. told about Trump wanting to buy the bills. I didn't know that one. I know he had tried to buy the bills, but I didn't know that particular story. Now, Stephen A. Smith, sometimes I start to think he's going to see the light. But at the end of the day, I think he's, he's going to be a liberal 
through and through no matter what. But it's one of those funny things where if you're an American and you care about your country, look, maybe Trump's not your favorite dude, but do you really want a walking skin suit to be your president, your representative on the world stage? To steal words from Joe Biden himself, come on, man. I think Trump should go on his podcast. I think that would be a great podcast to go on because most of Stephen A's audience, I would guess, are liberals. But he talks to a very different audience than, say, Joe Rogan would. Now, I do think that Trump should go on Rogan. The fact that he's not been on there yet, I mean, he might be on there closer to the election. I don't know. Joe's kind of weird with those things. Sometimes he has these guys on at, you know, at specific times for a reason. The show's also owned by Spotify, who are, you know, very liberal. And I know he says that, listen, they don't have any input on who the guests are. They do get a lot of backlash when he has a lot of conservatives on there. So I don't know if that would affect it. Probably. Because Joe Rogan's got the biggest podcast in the world. I don't think it's even close. He could easily have Trump on there. It would break the internet and most likely convert people. I'm guess I'm going to guess that Joe's audience are mostly, not all, but mostly conservative people. Trump was just on the Logan Paul podcast. I didn't watch that because I cannot stand Logan Paul. Everything about that man seems slimy and scammy to me, so I just stay away from it. But I think the more of these types of podcasts that Trump can do to reach some of the normies, not the people like you guys and myself who are day in, day out, breathing politics and news, the more normie people that are just told, oh, Trump's not good by their liberal teachers, that prob they probably don't follow politics, it'd be good for him to go on there. And I don't think that Stephen A's audience is necessarily the same as for a Rogan would be. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Help it grow, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.